Welcome back to the channel, guys. I truly appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. I appreciate you guys hitting that like, that notification bell, leaving vulgar language free comments. Hey, I appreciate them one dollars and them two dollars and some a uh, few five dollars. I, I appreciate you guys that some one dollars be adding up, guys. I truly appreciate that. Hey, guys, let's break bread with Bucky and Shallow and. Yes, you know, you, you read the um, title. Let's break bread. Bucky Lee Hotel out in Atlanta. I go to the mall, my brother Shiloh. She still got sick and couldn't make it. Me and Shiloh still out here turning up for the baby shower. I bet you Shiloh not even downstairs yet. She said, meet him downstairs for five minutes. I waited 15 whole minutes. Cause I know Shiloh just be late. He be late in line. Shallow. He is not down here. Bro just texted me and said he was waiting on the elevator. He just said he waiting on the elevator. Oh, there he goes. I'm here talking to his camera. It said Shallow said he's going to be downstairs in five minutes. I waited 20 whole minutes for him to come down here. He still wasn't down here. Where's uh, They said the driver going to take us. What's going on with y'all, man? Bucky said he's about to spend $10,000 on me. Yeah. We about to go stupid. Yeah. I appreciate that, bro. Anytime. And he said he's giving a hundred dollars to each one of his subscribers. So bro, no, he's just that. a generous guy, man. Like we gotta just give thanks to this guy. Like, bro, he's never he's, said that. Oh we at the in Atlanta with Dallas, Texas in the building, man. Yeah, man you know what's going on. Yeah, bro. I wish they like that, but it is what it is. He just told me he's going to hop on three of my beats tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. As long as I get a down. Yeah. Just give me a down. We can do whatever. What's a down, guys? You know what a down shower. is? Leave, leave a comment in the description. What's a down? This is cranberry juice, ladies and gentlemen. This is not lean. It's not lean. It's not lean. Any liquor. No mix. It's cranberry juice. You told him? You told him we won't be drinking? Yes, sir. Like the taste of alcohol, bro. I don't even know what alcohol tastes like. I tasted it, but I don't like it. I already told that, bro. Actually, I'm I'm not even playing. I've never even tasted alcohol. People always be thinking I'm lying when I say that. I really never have. I don't even it know. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. It does. Yeah. It's bad. People in the comments are going to say, because you drink the wrong shit. Nah, they, they know. They just ignore the taste, bro. I, I don't know how people do that. No, actually, this is how it happened. What was that dad's Hall of Fame thing? Remember his Hall of Fame? And, um... He was a kid. <laughs> no, nah, exactly. They had a cup of water and a glass of wine. It was two glasses looked exactly the same. And I thought it was water, bro, and I drank the wine. That was white wine. Bro, my whole... My whole from here on up was just on fire, bro. We got the ribs already in there. Okay, yeah, let, let me get some ribs then. Okay. You like ribs? Bro, I don't care what it is, bro. You want me to go get the ribs? I can make oh. the ribs. They go ranch one. We got ranch one. Let me taste them. Taste. Are they ready to taste? Yeah. You don't eat ribs? <laughs> I eat everything. You eat ass? You got the ranch one. Hey. So I just got to work with uh, the ribs. What you got going on right here, man? Man, just fried some fish, chicken, shrimp. Okay. We just trying to do it. Mm -hmm. You do have to teach Bucky how to do that. Do them. Make them good. Let's go. Baby Cheryl, it is hot out here, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Is she in the building? What's good? Amen. Amen. Me personally, who's inside the building? Mm -hmm. Me personally, bro. I wanna let that fly right there. You said what? Me <laughs> personally? <laughs> like, I wouldn't let nobody treat me like that, bro. Like, my son, man. You're supposed to come support your sister, bro. You weak, bro. Who that? I'm just playing. We told it. We told YouTube you were sick today. You already told him. I called him at like 6 a.m. I was like, bro, are you ready for the flight? He's like, I didn't put my flight. I can barely stand up right now. So he's actually sick. He said, we get a PJ down, he'll be all right. The due date of DeAndre. 
she invited me to Dallas to stay at her mom's house. And she told me her mama, and she told me her mama loves seafood and can cook real good. I couldn't wait to eat. But on that trip, Mama C told us something. Mama C told us something she was preaching in her class and it rings in my head all the time. Five minutes of pleasure isn't worth your life. I felt like she was talking directly to me though. I was a little shook, LOL. But she was absolutely correct. From the first day, I was excited. Even though I know, I, even though I knew I was in the doghouse. When we was going back and forth about, about you not knowing if you want to keep the baby or not, I knew, I knew why. And I had to understand. But I really wanted, but I really wanted you to keep it deep down in my heart. And I know deep down in your heart you wanted to as well. But I understand circumstances and letdowns to make you think otherwise. We didn't have a Valentine's Day, and that hurt me because I wanted to make you feel so special on that day. But I should have been making you feel special every day, like you had. When we started going to the doctor and hearing our baby's heartbeat, that made us so happy. And I was happy that whatever God placed in your heart, that you gave me another fucking chance. But I kept fucking up. A lot of people don't know that you really saved my life. I was an alcoholic for years. I didn't realize it. I was fighting a hard battle, but I always knew I could do it if I wanted to, but I needed a little more motivation. When you came to ATL station and got me from that bar, from me being there for 12 hours, and I'm all cut up, my hands bleeding, my arms skipped up, and I told y'all, and I don't know what I told you. Just being an asshole, I remember you jumped out that car on B Street, and I told myself, I don't ever want to see this again. So on March 13, 2024, I quit drinking. I knew it. you believed in me and nobody else couldn't fix me. I've never missed the doctor's appointment no matter what. And I'll try my best to remain that way because you have some more I never had I never had the knowledge of of Vibrus, but you educated me on it. And I still don't get it or why, but I know God is almighty. I've always had I've always had respect for you, but it took but this took it to another level. Would you carry my son at high risk and standing tall and Fine as hell, chest up, chin out on me, ho. You're a warrior, a true soldier, a queen. You are the absolute shit to me. You made me become a leader again. Taking me to the church. The change church really helped me. The betrayal of my friends and just life. I haven't drank liquor in four months. And the last and the last four months have been incredible. They haven't been perfect, but they have been incredible. My life, I have made a 360, and you have had everything to do with that. You know, I think about everything that we've been through in such a short amount of time and how short life is. And now I think like, man, we really got a chance of a lifetime. Put it to be the man of a woman's dream. The way that you see me, I know I can be, I know I am. Our baby boy is going to be so blessed, babe. You already know I can't wait and I'm going to raise him to be a king. I've already got the blessings from Mama C, Auntie Scooty, my mama, Pop, Rising, Miracle, Bucky, Auntie Lane, Uncle Boy, Papa and Grandma, and Grandma Annette, my daddy, Steve-O, Stephon, Bogey, Pastor, and even your best friend, your dad. I know I said it in the beginning, I know I said it in the beginning, but I love you and thank you. I know trust has always been, I know trust hasn't been always the easiest with me. But I want you to know that you can count on me forever. And I will always try my best to be the best for you and for my family at all times. So I want to seal the deal.
Congratulations, guys. That was a great video.